This is Avila Mukhopadhyay and today we we'll talk about Gabriel Garcia Marquez, a contemporary writer who just died in 2020 to yes, no, 2014. Okay. So he was born in 1927 in Colombia and he was a Colombian novelist, reading writer, journalist, right? And uh we can say that he was a very popular name in the Latin America. Now you know what is Latin America? Let me show you. That Latin America is the southern part of the America. You can see Colombia is there, Peru is there, right? Venezuela is there, Panama is there. So what happened at that time when British ruled all over all over the world in 65 countries? They started supplying slaves from Africa and the black people, the Native Americans, sorry, Native Africans. started settling in the caribbean islands and in the latin america and there started a mixed race right the mulit but we are not here talking about the mixed race or the hybrid race but we are talking about something related to that that is caribbean culture the latin american culture colombian culture and one of the vibrant character that is gabriel garcia marquez let us talk about him Okay so Gabriel Garcia Marquez was a Colombian novelist right so he belonged to the Latin America itself and his nickname was remember remember always Gabo or Gabito Gabo or Gabito was a journalist right and he started his career as a journalist he left his school and he was a political person he was a committed leftist right and his belief was in socialism okay and these political views were directly influenced by his grandfather the colonel and he was so much in love with his grandfather that later he wanted to write his childhood history childhood time he spent with colonel right so that dream to fulfill that dream he became bankrupt we would learn that he started writing a novel and he had no money he even uh, sold his car right so his family suffered the food crisis at that time all right our gabriel was associated with a literary movement okay that is the magic realism american bloom latin american boom not bloom boom latin american boom we discussed what is latin american boom and what is magic realism right you know what is magic realism probed or we would discuss in the terminology related to drama that would be a separate lecture or series of lectures all right so G- gabriel garcia was a latin american writer and he was very much well versed in spanish language he won the nobel prize in literature that makes him a prominent character in english literature right and he won the nobel prize in literature in 1982 you need to remember the year because if you are appearing for set net get definitely you would have a question from gabriel garcia marquez if you lock favors and my lectures help you right okay then come to some of his well known works right are set in the village macondo so macondo you need to remember the term macondo macondo is the place just like you think that the wessex right is a fictional land just like that macondo is a fictional land created by our gabriel garcia marquez and this land is do fictional but related to the birthplace of our gabriel garcia marquez that is aracataca you need to remember the terms aracataca so aracataca is the birthplace of gabriel garcia marquez and somehow related to the fictional village that he created named macado right so come to the next point that is very important that he was one of the founder father of qap now what is qap confusing right qap is nothing but a colombian news cast so it is a news cast that ran from january 2 to 1992 to december 1997 would look at the works of gabriel the story of the shipwreck sailor left strong then we have in evilava 
and 100 years of solitude very 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 important you need to remember that name 100 years of solitude and a little a brave history and plot of the work we are discuss here then the incredible and sad tale of innocent erendira and her heartless grandmother atom of the patriarch then chronicle of death foretold my favorite text so much debates i conducted so much debates i participated regarding chronicle of death foretold because the justice is left on the readers love in the time of cholera changing the history of africa news of a kidnapping and the leaving to the tale and memories of my melancholy horse so you can see that how striking how powerful the titles are so you need to remember all these titles right now we we'll, uh, talk about a few works of mark wedge we can't complete all these works today because you know that i make separate videos on different works so don't worry about that if the work is prominent you would get the lecture so that's my responsibility your responsibility is to subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribing my channel then uh, what can i say uh, that's my fault right you are not enjoying my classes all right come to the first text that is the story of a shipwrecked sailor shipwrecked sailor right so uh, the story actually was a political satire and written in a series of 14 news articles for el espectador so this is a series of writings written for el espectador you need to remember these terms all right all right so the story is written on the basis of one interview taken from a young surviving sailor all right who survived in a colombian navy vessel shipwreck and the story is said to be very much biased and glorifying that sailor so so many critics said that oh no this is a biased story we do not read that so that was rejected by so many writers so many critics then come to the lev strom lev strom was his first novella novella you know what is novella novella is a small form of novel that is written in between 100 and 150 pages and if it is more than 200 pages then it would call novel all right so his first novella and it took 7 years for him to find a publisher so all the writers in the initial day all the authors in the initial day they faced the same problem to find publisher right but it was finally published in 1955 right and this was the favorite writing of marquez because he said that Lebstrom is a kind of writing where I am not influenced by others, so it is a spontaneous, spontaneous writing, right? And it is more sincere writing. So he dedicated so many days. He wrote without any uh, outside, we can say, stimuli, right? So that was a spontaneous writing. So he loved the writing. So whenever we do something uh, purely, we love that work, right? So the left storm, the writing is about the old colonel. Who is colonel? I have talked about colonel. Colonel is the grandfather of Marquez, right? Okay. And the story is about the old colonel who tries and labor to bury an unpopular French doctor, right? With Christian rituals, and nobody in his area helps the old colonel but his daughter Isabel and his grandson. right and his grandson also loves colonel very much as marquez loved his grandfather right okay uh, the story left storm includes a number of literary styles including the stream of consorts female roles are the theme right okay then come to the next writing that is in evil hour that is the second novel by our famous marquez okay and some of the characters of the story reappears in the novel 100 year of solitude now today we discuss 100 year of so years of solitude which is very important right and it is written in 1967 uh, all right now i would 
tell a story here what happened you know that from the teenage when our marquez was a small child he had the desire to write all the story related to his grandfather's grandfather's house where he grew up right one day when he was a big man when he was a grown up man he was driving his car with his family and on the car he got the idea the plot of the story in his mind right and he turned the car came back to home and started writing and this took 18 months to write the novel 100 years of solitude and during this time there was a financial crisis so he had to sell the car but that was not enough that there, there was the food crisis therefore the wife of marquez had to ask food credit in credit from the butcher and the baker so uh, the work was a troublesome work because of the financial condition of that person our marquez and nine months home rent was due during writing this novel right so when 18 months during this 18 months every day our marquez discussed the development of the plot and how to progress the story with a couple alvaro mutis and maria lusa elio and another person named jomi garcia escort right finally the work got published in 1967 and it was a best seller it was uh, very popular after publication and 50 million copies million copies were sold the book was dedicated to jomi garcia escort right and maria luis elio so the people who discussed with him who contributed in the development of the plot for that novel we can say that marquez got the nobel prize right all right the story chronicles several <coughs> sorry general uh generations all in the family so the generations in the family the succession in the family is discussed the family of wendia from the time they found the fictional south african village of makado i have uh, talked about makado right makado is the fictional place created by our marquez so in makado the family of our wendia and the successor the generations the story of them are discussed narrated the story is about their trials and tribunals incest birth and death so crime you can find sex you can find violation you can find right the story of makando is frequently cited by the critics to represent the rural towns throughout latin america right okay and we can find the reference of caribia so we can include the novel as a caribbean writing also then the incredible and sad tale of innocent erendira and her heartless grandmother 1972 it was originally written in spanish language and the story is about 14 years old muleto girl you know who is muleto muleto is the hybrid generation that means the father is african or the mother is african or black or the father or mother one of them is white so one of the parents is white and the other is black so the hybrid child is muleto so the story is about 14 years old muleto girl erendira who lives with her grandmother and somehow erendira fires sets a fire on the house and the house turned into ash right and to rape repay to repay the debt her grandmother forced her into prostitution and main line to enjoy her body right and that torture the girl could not uh, we can say tolerate and one day discussing with her lover ulysses she decides that somehow she would escape and she only could escape after her lover ulysses killed the grandmother murdered the grandmother and at night on the camp there was ulysses and the dead body of the grandmother at that time somehow the girl escaped 
So sad story, you can see the incest, sex, violence and all these things. Autumn of the Patriarch. This is a dictator novel. You know what is a dictator novel? Dictator novel is associated with the American bloom, right? And here we find the story of the dictator, right? Who is the dictator here? It is a dictator novel from Marcos saw the fight of Venezuelan dictator M Marcos Perez Jimenez. So he is uh, so he is the dictator, and he saw Marcos saw the fight. Of Venezuelan uh, dictator, right? And he was inspired to write this novel, Atom of Patriarch. And he said once that it was my first novel, first time we had seen a dictator fall in Latin America, right? So he started the novel in 1968 and he finished it in 1971, and it was published in 1975 in Spanish language, right? Okay. So, according to our Marquez, the novel is a poem of solitude of power. Solitude of power, that means the dictatorship, we can say, right? After the publication of the novel, Marquez moved to Mexico City. Chronicle of Death, that is also a story of, we can say, uh, two families, right, are uh, getting involved and a girl is somehow losing her virginity. And therefore, her husband is leaving her, right? And the brother of the girl kills Santiago Nasser. So Santiago Nasser is the victim of the story, who is accused of uh, taking the virginity of a young girl, right? And therefore, the brothers of the girl murders Santiago Nasser, right? So you can find here so many things, morality, all right, and the honor killing. And you do not find at the end who is actually the victim, the girl, Santiago Nasser, or the man to whom the injustice happened, right? And all the woman role, question to the gender, question to sexuality, all these things are found in the Chronicle of Death foretold. Definitely, I would make another video. Don't worry about that on Chronicle of Death foretold. But you have to subscribe the channel right now. Okay, that is my uh, motivation, right? To make new and fresh informative videos that would help you to clear net love in the time of cholera you discuss all the leftover stories don't worry about that remember the name for now we have completed today garcia gabriel garcia marquez in brief not in brief we have discussed everything just some of the writings major works left we will discuss everything separately all the writings separately but i have discussed the most important writings don't worry about that. What I have taught in this class would help you a lot, right? So before going, subscribe the channel, like the video, comment whatever you want to say to me directly. I would reply you back. This is Abhilam Mukhopadhyay. Meet you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.